If equipped, the dual top allows you the option to use either the hard top or the soft top independently. A toolkit is provided in the center console and includes everything needed for both hard top and soft top installation and removal. To remove the hard top, first you'll have to remove both freedom top panels starting with the driver's side. Start by opening both front doors and folding the sun visors down against the windshield. Now, turn the L-shaped locks from the front and rear center of the roof panel. Then turn the L-shaped lock located on the outboard side of the panel, above the shoulder belt anchorage. Unlatch the header panel latch located at the top of the windshield and remove the panel. Follow the same steps to remove the passenger side panel. Store your panels in the storage bag if equipped and secure the bag in a safe location. With the Freedom Top panels removed, you can now remove the rest of the hardtop. Open the rear doors and use the provided number 50 Torx head driver and ratchet to remove the Torx head screw that secures the hardtop at the B pillar near the top of each front door. If equipped, remove the lower interior soft trim panel attached by the hook and loop fastener. Then, use the number 50 Torx head driver and ratchet to remove the six Torx head screws that secure the hardtop to the back of the cab. You'll find the wiring harness on the left rear inside corner of the vehicle. To access the harness, push on the right side of the plastic cover and slide it off. To release the harness, pull back on the latch, then push down on the button while pulling the harness out. Using the vehicle's key blade, pry off the storage cover located in the left side rear quarter trim. Tuck the wire harness inside and replace the cover. Now, with the help of at least one other person, you can remove the hardtop from the vehicle and place it on a soft surface to prevent damage. To reinstall the hardtop, follow these instructions in reverse order. To install the soft top, first install the belt rail on the rear of the vehicle using the number 50 Torx head driver and ratchet and six Torx head screws. Now it's time to install the door frames. First, place the front door frame in the rubber seal at the top of the windshield and line up the holes for the Torx head screws. Swing the frame bracket around the side of the rail and insert the screws from underneath. Tighten the screws using the number 40 Torx head driver until they are snug, being careful not to cross thread or over tighten the screws. Next, set the rear door frame pin into the hole on top of the body side, just behind the rear door opening, setting the frame onto the belt rail. Carefully position the top of the rear door frame onto the back of the front door frame. Make sure the rubber seals lay flat and are installed correctly to avoid water leaks. Adjust and tighten the frame brackets like you did for the front door frames. Ensure the soft top is secured with the provided hook and loop fasteners and, with the help of another person, lift it onto the rear of the cab. Line up the locator pins, one on each side of the soft top, with the rear door frames. Use the number 50 Torx head driver and ratchet to tighten the two Torx head screws on each side. Secure them until snug, being careful not to cross thread or over tighten. Before driving the vehicle with the top in the Sunrider position, double check that the top is secured with the provided hook and loop fasteners. To remove the soft top, follow these instructions in reverse order. This video is not intended to take the place of your owner's manual. For complete details and other important safety information, please see your owner's information.